Okay, in this video, we're going to tackle the security concerns around Siri. Now, pretty much the way Siri is set up is that you can actually access it when your screen and your phone is on the lock screen. And they do that for convenience sake, but if you have a passcode on your phone, you can actually pretty much bypass that through Siri and access your contact and calendar information. So this video is just pretty much to educate you if you have an iPhone 4S, how to avoid that on your phone if it's a problem for you. So as you'll see here, turn the phone on here, you'll see that I do have right now, I have a passcode on the phone. I put it in as 1234. Not very imaginative, but it's not a permanent thing anyway. So normally when you access Siri, you just long press the home button here and she comes up here. But you can actually access Siri on your lock screen as well. As you can see there. Now I'm going to show you how you can actually make a phone call and access contacts or calendar information from your lock screen here even though I haven't put in a passcode. Call Tech Harvest. Calling Tech Harvest Mobile. So as you can see there, I can make a phone call without actually unlocking the phone through Siri. Let's try another one. What's my next appointment? Your next appointment is at 12 p.m. this Friday. So there you go. So if this is a concern to you, what you need to do is go into the settings and uh, disallow Siri from accessing from the home screen here. Let's go into the settings here. Now you're going to go into your general settings here. Don't go into Siri. Go into passcode lock. Now of course I have to enter in my passcode here to access that information. And as you'll see down here, there's a selection here that says Siri. Allow access to Siri when locked with a passcode. So what we want to do, that's defaulted to on here. What you want to do is turn it off. Okay? and then pretty much you're done here. So just get out of here and let's go back to the lock screen. Now let's see if we can access Siri now. I'm long pressing but nothing's happening. So you actually have to get into the phone to access Siri. What's my next appointment? So there you go, that's a quick fix on how to avoid having your phone, just basically if you have a passcode on your phone, you're doing it for a reason. Whether it's, you know, you don't want particular people that might have access to it, get access to your phone, or if you're just worried if you lose your phone, uh, you just don't want people using it if, you, if it's lost. So this is a good way to avoid having your personal information pretty much open to the world. Anybody who has access to your phone would have access to it. So that pretty much does it for this video. I'll see you guys next time.